Hi guys, um, I'm here in my basement because it's cold and windy out. It's been unseasonably cold this November and today is now December. What we are going to do is an audio test of the ICOM 7300. So I have the best possible audio setup that I could get. I'm going to be trying to make a contact maybe, but more importantly I'm going to tool around and play with the filters and stuff and just see what kind of audio I can get or what, what it sounds like if you're thinking about getting the ICOM 7300. Now I really like this radio, it's really great. Um, I don't know about the audio quality, but I just love the actual, the imp the visual display that you get. You can kind of t uh, easily pop around, you know, you've probably seen this a lot. But this video is more about how does it sound, so I'm trying to get the best possible sound. I even tur turned off the heater in my house so it wouldn't be kicking on in the background here. So I'm going to try to get rid of all the, the noise, noise floor, and just let's listen and tool around and see what we can hear. I'm hooked up to my G5 RV dipole outside. Um, it should do pretty well for listening. It may not be the best for uh, transmitting, but it's pretty darn good for listening. So let's get started. Something I do, I tend to grab this for the, uh, I keep thinking this is the volume and I keep hitting it, but it's actually the filter. To you, my friend. And uh, yeah, consider that. Uh, go ahead and make those reservations and uh, we want to we wanna see you down there, that's for sure. Alrighty, I got a couple more here and then we'll uh, check for others here. I got a mobile out there and uh, uh, Nick's running around in the mobile. I think he's on his way to Chicago, checked in here earlier and then we got Neil coming up and, uh, and uh, then we're going to check for others here. Really appreciate it. 73 Steve, my friend. Alrighty, bottom of the list here. Afternoon 68 Group 506 Eastern. Running over a little bit, but we don't have anybody coming in behind us, so it's not a big deal. Uh, last call here on the group. Anyone else for the afternoon 68 Group? Okay, uh, YX, Tom, I have you. The Yankee Delta Quebec Station, I have you. Uh, who else was? Okay, Noel, I have you, and N.S., was it Nancy Foxtrot uh, Whiskey, is that correct? Okay, say again. <laughs> I messed that up. <laughs> Foxtrot November Whiskey, I have you, sir. There was one other station uh, that was a little bit lighter. Things are going to start getting cool here pretty quick. 
But anyway, good to hear you this afternoon. I appreciate you getting in here with us. Uh, we've had a pretty good group here today. Down 39 check-ins so far. Over. Oh, I appreciate that. And you're 10 over on that last transmission, Tom. So, uh, hey, have a great evening, my friend. Thanks for being here, okay? <laughs> That sounds pretty darn good. Except for a little interference. Four. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you like the sound of that. I uh, hope it hope it sounds really good. I'm gonna process the audio. I'm not gonna alter the audio. I'm gonna process out the ground level noise. There's a way to do it where you can cut out the ground level noise and just hear only what's being heard, supposedly, if that's what the software does. Anyway, let me know uh, what you think of this. Why are you watching this video? Are you thinking about buying this? Uh, this radio, uh, yeah, I would buy it for sure. I think it depends on what you're going to do. You know, people sometimes ask me, 
Which one do you like most? Your Yezu 891, your KX2, your ICOM? Well, what are you going to do? If you're going to go out in the field and use 10 watts, then the KX2. It has an internal antenna tour, tuner. If you're going to sit at your desk at home all the time, then I would get something like this with the visual display. I just love seeing the display and then cycling over to it. You can even pop to it if you click on it. Um, this is a good basic SDR radio. I know there's better ones, you know, uh, ICOM makes a 7610 and all, it's, but it's really expensive. Um, this one has dropped in price. So if I had bought, I probably would have saved three, two, three hundred dollars now had I bought this radio now as opposed to like about a year and a half ago or so. Um, doesn't matter though. I would buy this radio again, especially for it's winter now and I'm not going to be going outside much. It's just perfect to come down in the basement. And I can just tool around on here. Um, I'm going to make a CW contact right now and put that in another video. Anyway, thanks for joining me.